Greetings once again to our viewing audience and welcome to a new episode of our number one uh, LGBTQ community news talk show, Meek Pro Media Special Edition News. This is the second episode of 2024 uh, and happy 2024 to, to those who I still have not seen since the new year. Uh, we're still in the midst of our 15th anniversary season in media. And this is just the part two continuation winter quarter edition. Uh, for those people who missed our uh, first episode of 2024 on last week, uh, where we brought uh, Sister Rochelle Darling Hudson, who's the co-founder and chair of the Southern Unity Movement, which is the official home of the Rustin Lord Community Breakfast that happens annually on MLK holiday. Uh, for those people who missed that show, that show is still available on the channel that you're viewing now, the YouTube channel, as well as uh, check out our previously broadcast shows. All of that information should be listed at the bottom of your screen. And, of course, uh, you know to visit our website, uh, www.meekproductions.lgbt. That's M-E-A-K as in Kite Productions with an S. Of course, I'm the founder, uh, Miko Evans, and I'm glad to be back with you all once more and again. And like I said on the last episode that we was bringing back returning guests, Executive Director of the Out Georgia Business Alliance, uh, the state of Georgia's only LGBTQ Chamber of Commerce, we're bringing back... Chris Lugo, and I'm making sure that you are still unmuted. Are you okay, brother? <laughs> I'm here, Miko, and thank you so much for having me. It is uh, such a pleasure to be with Meek Productions, um, a media partner of the Out Georgia Business Alliance, and it's 2024. It's our organization's 30th anniversary. We had a lot of successes last year, but you know what? We're on to some intentional work here in 2024, and I'm so glad to be here. Um, we've been doing these interviews for years now, and yeah. I'm getting this time with you, Miko, and can't wait to dive in. Yeah, I can't either, man. I mean, it's going to be really, really awesome and everything, but I'm just so excited to have you back on the show because this year is the 30th anniversary of the uh, organization formerly known as the uh, Atlanta Gay and Lesbian Chamber of Commerce. So I'm so ready and excited to get into what you all have planned for this year's 30th anniversary of your organization. But before we get started with that, kind of take us uh, a little bit, uh, a trip down memory lane. We're going to use this episode as our year in review uh, for the previous year. Uh, so what do you think about the things that happened on last year in 2023? So for us, Miko, and let me um, first say, um, Darlene Hudson, the Southern Unity Movement, and the Russell Lord Breakfast was, again, an incredible experience uh, on MLK Day here in 2024. I had the opportunity to join on behalf of the Out Georgia Business Alliance. Um, it was one of the largest crowds I've seen there at the Russell Lord Breakfast over the years that I've been attending uh, here since 2019, and just want to shout out to the Southern Unity Movement and everyone involved. On, on an incredible program. I just thought it was so, it was so fantastic. Um, and the, the folks you see there, it, I've heard folks describe it as a reunion and it is this energizing moment to not only honor Dr. King and the King holiday, but also to recognize by Rustin and Audrey Lord for their contributions um, to the movements and to our communities at large. Um, just want to shout out to the Southern Union Movement on an excellent, excellent by Rustin Audrey Lord breakfast. Um, that just happened a few days ago, but yeah, 2023 for us was was a was a pretty good year um, for the Out Georgia Business Alliance, and I think at at in general, we were seeing our members continue to uh, notch improvements and uh, up their performance coming out of the COVID pandemic. Um, we had an opportunity to convene folks. Um, we had a special opportunity to convene folks twice at the Federal Reserve Bank of Atlanta for our big kickoff event at the beginning of the year, as well as our business summit. And it was a moment where you know we were able to invite in folks from across our community to dive into programming with us and folks who would probably never step into the Federal Reserve Bank of Atlanta um, Absolutely. I'm so proud wow. that we were able to bring them there and have an educational experience by way, as well as a cultural experience. And honestly, we were able to introduce and help the Federal Reserve Bank of Atlanta folks move the needle on, on some of their uh, diversity initiatives internally as well by being on site. Um, it was a really proud moment for us. We also had several opportunities throughout the year to 
um, yeah. spotlight our small businesses. Fourth Fridays, we were able to get into uh, Meek Productions for one of our Fourth Friday networking experiences last year. We also, with the support of Miko here, we were able to collaborate with the Metro Atlanta Association of Professionals for officially for like the very first time. And that was in February of last year, as well as in October during Atlanta Pride Week. Both of those moments, Miko was a huge part of it. And I'm just so glad you helped push us to collaborate in that way because I thought they were both wonderful experiences. I mean, uh, let, let, let's stop right there because let's talk about the first time uh, that you all actually collaborated. Uh, and as a matter of fact, I want to also give a shout out to one of the other partners that was responsible for sponsoring the location of y'all first time collaborating, uh, Bill Kalen and Bill Kalen Marketing, because uh, we've had a chance to work with them as well more than once. And so um, that, when I heard the news that you all was collaborating for the first time, I'm like, <laughs> I said, oh, we got to be yeah. there to document that. So yeah. I was glad that one of our uh, first shows of uh, last year uh, was to actually, you know, do the uh, live broadcast uh, and the live taping of that actual uh, first historic collaboration. So we was glad to just get that on tape. And uh, for those people who missed that, go back to um, the early part of our uh, of 2023, because we have that, I think that's season 14 um, of um, Meek Pro Media Special Edition News. All you got to do is just go uh, in the playlist because uh, it's still available. And it's one of the first shows of uh, 2023. And so... Uh, if you haven't seen it, please check it out, man, because that was a awesome historic moment. And I forgot the name of the location, but I know it was one of the new high rises that's in uh, Buckhead off of um, West Paces Ferry Road, was, right? Yeah, it was 999 West Paces Ferry. Yes. It was the, the complex. Uh, it was a, um, a apartment condo type of complex where we were. It was it was beautiful. They had tons of space, treated us well, thanks to Bill Kalen Marketing. Um but really, you know, it was a really cool, just cool uh, for us to bring some of our members and some of our communities together that may not otherwise mix um, uh, on a typical evening in Atlanta and bring them together in a really special way. Um, it was a great networking event, and it was the first of a handful of collaborative experiences with the Metro Atlanta Association of Professionals. Um, and... Thank you, Nico, for, for helping us move in that direction, along with Bill Kalen Marketing, but, but you were helping us really understand the weight of it all. You know, mm -hmm. it's interesting, you know, and I will go into that, you know, 2024 is our organization's 30th anniversary. And when we were founded in 94, it was as the Greater Atlanta Business Coalition, but there were two organizations that came together to found us. One was called Fourth Tuesday, a uh, lesbian networking group that started in the early 80s in Atlanta. And the other one was the Atlanta Executive Network, which is now known as the Metro Atlanta Association Atlanta. Professional. So Absolutely. this really wonderful moment of bringing our organizations together because, you know what, we have a shared past and a shared, you know, kind of like our, our origin stories are connected, right? Mm -hmm. and it was a, a great moment. Our leaderships, uh, board members were together. Um, our members were together. And again, it was the first of a couple of experiences and collaboration. And my hope is that, you know, our organizations um, are forward with those collaborative opportunities. It doesn't always have to be the Out Georgia show or the organization leading it all the time. We are all for collaborating and making sure we share that spotlight, but also get us in front of other folks that we may not otherwise connect with. And hopefully there are some special connections between the folks that are in the room for one of those collaborative experiences. So it was a really cool way to start off our networking um, series for 2024, or sorry, for, for last year, 2023. And my hope is that we can find some really intentional moments to, to do exactly that again and, and maybe explore it in a little bit of a different way. So. I think it only is priming us for more of those collaborative opportunities here in Atlanta and across the state. Absolutely. And um, yeah, it, it's just really so awesome that we was able to uh, make that happen. And because uh, I know that was one thing I didn't know about y'all's two shared history, because I do know um, for those people who are watching, of course, AEN is Atlanta's very first business networking association. Uh, they started in the early, early 90s uh, and stuff like that. So but I didn't know about uh, the actual creation, how the Atlanta um, 
Gay and Lesbian Chamber of Commerce was originally formate, uh, you know, formulated. So I think that's wonderful for you to even share that. Go into um, some more of the uh, wonderful events that you all had last year. The fact that you all was able to be at the Federal Reserve uh, Building, the Federal Reserve Bank, twice in one year. One for y'all's opening uh, networking event for the uh, year of 2023, uh, which was, of course, in the early spring. And then, of course, coming back to the... Um, to the uh, Federal Reserve Bank for the annual small business, uh, you know, LGBT small business summit. So yeah, kind of go more into that. You know, we've had a growing relationship with the Federal Reserve Bank of Atlanta and Out Georgia Business Alliance for a handful of years now where uh, they reached out to us and they want to intentionally include our organization in specifically, it was their supplier diversity efforts where they are looking for a contracting opportunity with certified diverse businesses. And they want to make sure that Out Georgia and our certified LGBTQ owned businesses are right there for opportunities within the Federal Reserve System. And, and I really appreciate how they are being intentional in this way. We were approached from them, they were they were interested in in uh, upping their uh, commitment to the organization, and they wanted to host a couple of events last year. And it was a perfect moment for us to start the year with our kickoff and annual meeting right there at the Federal Reserve Bank of Atlanta. That was actually on February first of twenty twenty three, so February one last year, uh, and that was our first moment to. We had about two fifty two seventy five uh, number of folks in the room to fellowship with each other at the beginning of the year, but more importantly, to learn what we were going to be up to and what our priorities are as an organization. It's important for me, Miko, to not just, um, you know, have our event experiences and have the things that bring our folks together, but we want to make sure that folks, folks know the context of where we are going as an organization, how we are representing them, either from a legislative perspective or in uh, the work that we do to advance opportunities. But also, you know, when folks have a pretty clear idea of the roadmap ahead, at least for the year ahead, they're more um, they're more inclined to buy in and participate, and perhaps even introduce somebody who may not know about us just yet. Which is we understand that, but if somebody can know uh, the experiences they should expect from our organization, they're more comfortable in introducing somebody who um, is brand new to the Outdoor to Business Alliance, and we appreciate that. The Fed was then able to pull in for uh, a June LGBTQ Business Summit. It was our seventh annual business summit event of ours. We started it back in 2017, actually. And I thought it was one of our most successful business summits to date, where we had um, a variety of uh, facilities to handle breakout rooms, different experiences. We had a business pitch competition for trans and gender expansive folks. Um, we had a number of our a newly launched councils, um, an L, a certified LGBTQ owned business council, a yep. council and a nonprofit council. We had a, a moment to convene them. We had a couple of other like really special moments. We had the president and CEO of the Federal Reserve Bank of Atlanta, Rafael Bostic, uh, who was our 2022 business person of the year, mm -hmm. stopped by to greet um, folks um, at the Out Georgia Summit. We had great keynotes each day. Um, it was a really powerful way for us to represent not only to our own community, but to folks at the Federal Reserve and beyond that our community is up to great work right now. And they are continuing to notch um, innovation and success and tenacity uh, within the business community here in Atlanta and Georgia. And I just thought it was a really special way. We, we had folks from across the state joining us at that event. Um, honestly, I felt like it helped us establish a new standard of what we should expect when it comes to delivering that summit experience to our members and really grateful to the Federal Reserve Bank of Atlanta for providing that for us. Let's talk about, because uh, I know last year was also uh, the year to return to having both the summit and the actual community honors as a separate event, because I know in the previous years, y'all had to combine them. So uh, I know this year, y'all kind of got back to the original schedule and having making sure that those uh, events were separated. Um, let's talk about the further initiatives that you all have with uh, the trans community, because I know y'all trans um services uh and division that you all have now i know they had their own type of expo and stuff this year as well so kind of get into that 
Yeah, so uh, if you uh, may not be familiar, TGX 360 is out Georgia's initiative and program to serve Georgia's trans and gender expansive job seekers and entrepreneurs. So it's an economic empowerment program uh, that centers our TGX community. It's led by an advisory committee of like 10 to 12 incredible trans and gender expansive leaders right here in Georgia and a couple that are um, in adjacent states um, that are part of our community and part of our leadership. Um, we were able to do a, a lot with TGX 360 last year, which was really cool. Um, we were able to engage with a local um, uh, TGX artist to actually develop our logo and branding of that particular program, which we're really proud of. We were able to develop a custom um, animated um, video around pronoun usage, which, you know, there, there's a lot of information around using pronouns in a respectful way. My pronouns are he and him, mm -hmm. um, and I use those. And folks can use any type of pronouns or no pronouns at all. But we we engaged with a non-binary indigenous artist, uh, might they, to develop this video that I thought was completely distinct and unique and conveyed exactly the sentiment of belonging and intentionality and humanity. And it was a really cool project. It took like probably four or five months for us to actually get through developing the concept to you know, working with the artist and finalizing the project. Uh, the wonderful thing was that, um, I'm gonna come back to March um, of last year, but we were able to debut that video at NGLCC's, the National LGBT Chamber of Commerce's uh, their international convention, which held, was held last August in Denver, Colorado, we partnered with another chamber of our uh, chamber uh, sibling of ours up in Philadelphia, and they have a trans work program. It's very similar to ours. Actually, we modeled TGX 360 after theirs, uh, mm -hmm. used it as inspiration. We teamed up for a session, so we presented at a major conference um, around investing in trans uh, programming at local chambers across the United States. We debuted that video with, um, you know, produced by a local indigenous um, non-conforming artist. Um, and we're just so proud of like our intentionality behind getting to that point. Another great milestone for the program last year was during trans, um, leading into Trans Day of Visibility, which if you're not familiar, that is at uh, the end of March. So March 31st of every year is mm -hmm. TDAV, as it's called, our Trans Day of Visibility. We developed a week of educational experiences, panels, workshops. We collaborated with an organization called Destination Tomorrow, which actually uh, wound up being our 2023 nonprofit of the year. Um, we collaborated on programming. We processed a number of name changes that week, and then it culminated in a number of panel discussions around employment, entrepreneurship, and um, really diving into the trans experience um, at City Hall. We had an expo of trans-owned businesses, nonprofit organizations that was uh, participating in there for an evening reception. It was it was a it was an interesting way that we chose to show up for that particular recognition day of Trans Day of Visibility. Um, we, as Out Georgia and TGX 360, we are very conscious that you know most trans-led organizations are um, BIPOC, they are Black, but they are Indigenous, they are people of color who are leading those organizations to train. Oftentimes, they are Black trans women who are leading organizations for the community and driving change. We've had a stance where we don't we don't try to take up a, we don't try to take up all the space and all the air in the room when it comes to Trans Day of Visibility or Trans Day of Remembrance or Trans Week of Awareness, um, those trans awareness um, experiences, because we know that there are a lot of trans organizations that are led, that are centering, that are delivering services to the trans community that are Black and women um, led. We want to honor them. We have a stance of making sure we avoid direct conflicts, okay. direct overlap. And we, you know, we want to put the spotlight back on our trans organizations and leaders who are doing the work and advancing the community. We are there to support and spotlight and amplify. But um, the trans uh, visibility a series of events last year was, was really special. We learned a lot. Honestly, we created a lot of relationships that 
um, continue to inform our work going into 2024 with TGX 360. You know what? This will be a great way to segment into our only commercial break. And uh, when we come back, we're going to have more with Chris Lugo, returning guest, uh, executive director of the Out Georgia Business Alliance, where we're going to actually talk about what's in store for 2024, their 30th anniversary season. Please stay tuned. And while you're staying tuned th th during our commercial break, we're going to be playing snippets from some of our coverage from last year's um uh, events that we participated in at the Out Georgia Business Alliance. So stay tuned for that. Hope you enjoy it. All right. We'll be right back. All right. You're tuned in to Meek Production syndicated shows. Don't go anywhere. We do have more in store. Hello, everyone. This is Chris Lugo, Executive Director of the Out Georgia Business Alliance, Georgia's only Chamber of Commerce serving the LGBTQ plus community and our allies. Formerly known as the Atlantic Gay and Lesbian Chamber of Commerce, out Georgia serves the community by advocating for the most inclusive and equitable business environment, providing support and resources to fuel economic growth, and driving meaningful community connections and impact across the state of Georgia. For more information about membership and the legacy of our organization, please visit outgeorgia.org. Once again, that is outgeorgia.org. We look forward to serving and networking with you soon. Meek Productions is proud to be an official media partner for this organization. Hey there, this is George Carlton, president of the Metro Atlanta Association of Professionals. Are you looking to expand your business, seeking employment connections, or want to grow your professional network but don't love traditional networking? The map is right for you. As Atlanta's first LGBTQ plus business association, we pioneered partnerships and networking with Atlanta's leading change makers to help you connect authentically, in person and online, with people from diverse industries, identities, and histories. For more information about membership and being part of our legacy, visit our website at www.maapatl.org. Once again, that's mapatl.org. We look forward to connecting with you real soon. Meek Productions is proud to be an official media partner for this organization. Greetings, this is Jim Farmer, Festival Director of Out on the Film. Since 1987, Out on the Film has been dedicated to supporting the exhibition of LGBT film and video art forms with top-rated films, intimate settings, audience participation, and special celebrity events, which gives moviegoers and sponsors a way to connect and extend a 90-minute film into a lasting relationship. For more information about film submission, the history of the festival, and how to donate or sponsor, please visit outonfilm.org. That's out on film.org. Meek Productions is proud to be an official media partner for this organization.
And welcome back to another new episode. Uh, the last half of our season of Meek Pro Media Special Edition News. We're still in the midst of our 15th anniversary season. And we're back with a returning guest, Christopher Luke <laughs> Hey, baby. Hey, Miko. It's a pleasure to be here. I can't wait to wrap up the end of 2023 and share a little bit more about what we've got in store for 24. You mentioned earlier, it's our 30th anniversary. We're, we're moving forward with intentionality, but... And we're going to have some fun this year as well and celebrate uh, 30 years of serving the community. Yes. Uh, I know you want to finish talking about 2023. So let's go into, um, I think, the community honors for this year, because I know it was uh, different and everything like that, but it was actually wonderful. So uh, tell us a little bit more about that part of last year, and then we're going to get into 2024. Yeah. So um, what was exciting last year, as you mentioned, we, we really work to make sure that the, um, the sequencing of our events, uh, we, we were getting back to some of our um, timing that we had kind of uh, leading into the pandemic, um, where our big community honors, our big community dinner event um, that has been going on since 1998, actually, um, we, uh, we, we got that back to September. So through COVID, um, some virtual editions and post COVID, we kind of moved it to the back half, or you know, the uh, end of the fourth quarter, just out of necessity. And then we wanted to move it back to the original timing in September, um, and we brought that to life. But you know, the interesting thing was, Miko, um, at, right at the end of August, we also had an opportunity to get back to the gathering spot and to recognize and honor Black Business Month, but also mm -hmm. leading into Atlanta Black Pride Weekend. Um, it was a really fantastic uh, experiences of highlighting several Black LGBTQ entrepreneurs and business owners and uh, Out Georgia members and really talking about what it means to be in community, um, Black doing business right now, and what it means to um, have support and what we can also do to improve that kind of support. So I'm so proud of that particular event. It's going to evolve here in 2024, but... Uh, it was another commitment to making sure that when we show up for Atlanta Black Pride or a Trans Day of Visibility, we are trying to do it in a unique way that is every bit part of our Chamber of Commerce, you know, DNA, but through a fresh out Georgia lens. We wrapped up kind of our major events of the year with our with our community honors event. It's a wonderful experience of highlighting. Uh, several leaders from business, from community organizations and nonprofits uh, to organizations themselves across a spectrum um, and across Georgia in recognizing excellence, but also, you know, zeroing in on um, the ones that we are, you know, recognizing as our 2023 business leader of the year, small business of the year, member of the year. We had our very first tie for our member of the year, which was really fantastic. Nico was uh, on stage to actually present that moment and recognize um, the history that was being made with absolutely shared, um, a shared recognition. Uh, we had several incredible businesses and organizations recognized. Another cool milestone, um, Miko and everyone watching, is um, this was the second year of the Out Georgia Business Alliance Impact Fund with United Way of Greater Atlanta, and we distributed in 2023, $65,000 in grants to nonprofit organizations. It was a two year total that we reached a $100,000 invested back in community. And I'm just so proud that we have the relationship with United Way and the opportunity to recognize great work happening uh, in our community, trans led, uh, multifaceted organizations and say, we see you, we're gonna invest in you. And also we are gonna prioritize our small grassroots organizations. So we had that moment to close out our major events of, of 2023. We went through bringing on some new board members and a lot of new energy. We're here in 2024, Miko. And um, actually two weeks from now, we are having our first major event of 2024, our kickoff mm. annual meeting. Um, it's going to be fantastic. And we are having it at the National Center for Civil and Human Rights. Um, when it comes to recognizing our 30th anniversary and our elders and history, I can't think of a better place to have this moment than Absolutely. the National Center for Human Rights. It's going to be a fantastic experience. Wow. That's going to be awesome because um, I know it's been a – have you all 
had events at the uh, Center for Human Rights before under Out Georgia, or was you always participating with other uh, events? Yeah, we've had some collaborative experiences there, Miko, with other organizations. We teamed up with a couple of organizations to unveil the Out Down South um, exhibit. There is an outdoor exhibit um, outside of the center that recognizes 10 uh, Atlanta LGBTQ icons. Uh, we were a part of that um, that opening. But this is our first standalone event. We actually had the entire uh, center, the entire museum to the Health Georgia Business Alliance. The cool thing is there is a, an awesome traveling exhibit that is at the center right now called Queer Justice. And it recognizes 50 years of Lambda legal and their, uh, their legal battles. Um, uh, many of them actually have some connections to Atlanta or the state of Georgia from a Supreme Court perspective uh, and, and a lot of um, cases in between. It recognizes this really long history of fighting for progress. Our folks are going to be able to access the Queer Justice Traveling Exhibit. Uh, they're going to be able to walk through um, a self-guided tour of the museum itself. And we're going to end up on the other side of the building, and we are going to have a great annual meeting, networking extravaganza to share with folks what's happening for 2024 and what they can expect from this chamber. You know what? We're, we've, we've kind of adjusted a little bit of lingo, Miko. Um, that rhymes. Um, but, you know, we, we are very used to saying Out Georgia Business Alliance is Georgia's LGBTQ plus Chamber of Commerce. And we're updating that for 2024 in recognition of our indigenous cultures, um, folks that have been here long before we have, uh, mm -hmm. and have, you know, um, this land is, is theirs and we happen to be, you know, post-colonialism and um, all of that, that, that impact there um, of, you know, uh, the European culture coming to uh, mm -hmm. these lands. We are recognizing that um, our two-spirit community has been um, essentially part of the LGBTQ plus community for long before we even had words to express. And we are describing Out Georgia as Georgia's 2S LGBTQIA plus Chamber of Commerce. It is a little bit of a mouthful, but you know what? If that causes us, you know, a stumble here and there to uh, recognize uh, our indigenous cultures, um, that they were here before we were, and they were expressing gender and understanding that in ways that um, we are only now understanding more as a community, uh, we want to recognize that. We also want to recognize our intersex, our asexual community, um, you know, it's important that we are um, current. Uh, with how we are describing, even though Out Georgia is evergreen and stays the same uh, from a branding perspective, we want to make sure that the full community sees themselves in our organization. Um, we're proud to update that acronym, um, but it's also indicative of um, how we are moving forward with intent in 2024. The kickoff is going to be a great experience. Um, it's happening on Wednesday, January 31st at the mm. National Center for Civil and Human Rights. We have our lunch networking series that is up and running right now in 10 locations across the state. Five, oh, sorry, yeah, five here in Metro Atlanta, five uh, beyond Atlanta, Macon, Savannah, Augusta, Athens, and um, one more I'm missing. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and um, we also have, I'm excited to say, so February, our fourth Friday series comes back, and then um, we are working towards Miko, our business summit, um, I can't share uh, the exact details right now, but I want you to start thinking about penciling in Friday, April 26. It mm. is Lesbian Visibility Day, and that's when we're targeting to have our eighth annual LGBTQ plus business summit at Expo. Um, we are going to have a legit Expo this year. That's going to be a great experience. Um, there's a lot percolating right now without Georgia. I, I just... I. Sometimes it's hard for me to even, um, you know, get started on this because we we have a lot going on, and thankfully we've got a lot of great energy on our board of directors and Andy, our other staffer, who, you know, we're all working hard to make sure that folks feel the value and they feel the love from our organization. Awesome! Wow, this is very exciting. Um, I love the fact that you all are making intentions, like, for example, like you all did intending to incorporate more of the trans community. Uh, the fact that you all are making sure that you all incorporate other uh, uh, cultures that you think uh, that, you know, you all may feel like that you're actually missing out on um, and not serving. So I love the initiatives that you all are taking. Kudos to that.
as well. To those people who are viewing us right now, do not forget to join us toward the end of this month at the National Center for Civil and Human Rights for the kickoff, the 2024 kickoff of the Out Georgia Business Alliance and their 30th anniversary celebration and their season. So uh, for more information about that, always go to www.outgeorgia.org. And once again, that information is located at the bottom of your screen. What else do you want to tell our audience before we end the show, Chris? Oh my gosh, I have so much and I won't be able to get to everything. But what I want you to know is um, if you weren't aware, Out Georgia has 456 member organizations across the state. We have a lot in Atlanta, but we are also starting to see more momentum in Augusta, Athens, Savannah, Macon, Columbus, and, and a lot of stops in between. Um, we have amongst the top five and a number of certified businesses right here in the state of Georgia versus the rest of the United States. We are doing great work here. And more importantly, LGBTQ plus business owners like Miko Evans and uh, so many others right here are representing our community in such an incredible way. We want to honor you by making sure that our programming is meeting your needs. We've updated our um, the pillars of you know, describing how we serve the community. We have four pillars. We've added one, but they are business, community, advocacy, and philanthropy. So business is all about the resources and the value to a small business owner or an organization to help them um, become even more fully themselves and more supported. Our community pillar is all about creating an ecosystem of support and really making sure our folks are connected to each other. They know about each other's businesses and they know how they can help. Um, so I love that question that I lead with is, you know, how can I help and how can I send a referral to you? Um, our advocacy pillar is all about making sure that we are representing as the voice of the 2S LGBTQI plus business community, we are representing you at the state capitol, but we're also representing you when it comes to the community at large and making sure folks have a, a great impression and an accurate impression of what our businesses are doing to contribute to this economy in Georgia in a positive way. And our philanthropy um, uh, pillar is all about how do we leave a lasting legacy of impact? That's where our impact fund comes in. And that's where we're also encouraging folks to learn how they can join a nonprofit organization serve on their board, volunteer, contribute, and however that might be for them. Um, make an impact, make a commitment. It's going to make sure that Georgia is becoming a better place, even though all the forces are, you know, sometimes seems like they're against us. We protect ourselves and we care for our own. Part of doing that is investing in organizations um, like the Altruity Business Alliance and so many others across the state. Um, last thing I'll say is, we're kind of doing a, a little bit of an interesting take on helping us better understand how we show up better across the state. We have broke internally, we've broken broken down the state into 12 regions. They're based on these economic development uh, clusters, 12 of them, uh, that are recognized by like the Georgia Chamber and all these other uh, organizations. So we didn't make it up, uh, but this is helping us better understand where are we missing representation across the state? Where do we have programming? Where are where do we need to focus on in 2024 and the years ahead? So this regional breakdown is going to help us internally better understand how we represent folks across the state. And then um, from our summit to we've got a couple of great market experiences for vendors. Um, we are experimenting with a new uh, experience over the summer called our summer soiree. It's actually going to help us ring in our official birthday in July. And our honors event is going to be in September again. It's probably going to, I think, probably be the most over-the-top honors experience that we've had. And I think it's going to be one of those must-attend events. And what I love about that experience and everything without Georgia is you come exactly how you are. However you want to express yourself, however you want to show up, it's perfect. And you belong at the Out Georgia Business Alliance. And when you show up how you are, you're going to be more successful. You're going to be more inclined to support others in a free, full, full, and um, full of joy and love. That's part of business. When we show up for each other, our community wins and we grow, um, no matter if we're in the helping um, mode or if we're in the receiving mode. So commit to showing up for community, commit to showing up for yourself at the Out Georgia Business Alliance. And you know what? 2024 is going to be pretty damn incredible. 
You heard it first right here on Micro Media Special Edition News. Chris, once more and again, thank you for always uh, showing up and showing out as always. And I think that was a great way to start off and kick off y'all 30th anniversary celebration. Don't forget to RSVP once again for their 2024 kickoff celebration that's going to happen at the National Center for Civil and Human Rights. And I also want to give a shout out to the current executive director of the LGBTQ Institute at the uh, National Center for Civil and Human, Human Rights, uh, community hip hop legend, Tim M. T. West and stuff. Uh, he had a chance to perform uh, and do one of his uh, pieces at the uh, most recent annual Byrd Russ and Audrey Lord Community Breakfast on MLK Holiday and did an awesome job. For those people that want to see that live stream broadcast, please go to our official nonprofits fan page, uh, History of Black Gay America Incorporated. Uh, this is, uh, I think February 20th would be the second year that that actual organization has been in existence. And so uh, they are actually currently uh, doing their annual membership drive to actually uh, raise funds for the uh, new nonprofit. And uh, we're still looking for board members. So if you're interested in serving um, and preserving the heritage and history of the contributions of LGBTQ people of color, please visit www.historyblkgay.us. That information should be located at the bottom of your screen. And once more and again, for Out Georgia Business Alliance to join and or to uh, take part in their upcoming events for their 30th anniversary season, please visit all of the information that's located at the bottom of your screen. Chris, I love you. I love you too. I'm so proud of you, Miko. And please, 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 we are helping more folks understand the importance of honoring our elders, our history, and using that as motivation for what's next. Keep doing what you're doing. We're so proud of you. And we can't wait to see you in a couple of weeks at the, at the kickoff event. It's going to be fun. Yes, it is. And I hope to see you all there for those people who are in the Atlanta area that's viewing this right now. Until our next new episode, I'm going to wait to the new, uh, new episode to tell you who's going to be our next special guest. So please stay tuned because I think we're going to start bringing in some more celebrity uh, based LGBTQ um, special guests as well. So stay tuned for more in 2024. Y'all take care.